Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think a uh, question that we're all wondering, uh, Nacho Lave, are his antics uh, bringing the team down, or what, what's going on with him and his behavior uh, with this team right now? You know, this is one of those things where we try not to focus on these off-the-field sort of um, situations. I'm not even going to say issues because they don't become issues for our team unless we let them. And Najee has some stuff that he needs to work out. Um, and, and figure out for himself, but this team tries to stay focused, uh, you know, one game at a time. You know, right now we're focused on, uh, you know, trying to do our best to prepare for Jacksonville this week, and I'm not really concerned with Olave. Yeah, he's, he's, there's been some issues, you know, in the past, media, you know, whatever. I don't care about that. I've never cared about that. We care about focusing on our next opponent and, and honestly trying to make a playoff push. That's why I'm here, and, and that's what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about Olave. Uh, off the field anymore. I want to talk about players on the field that are making plays. Ladies and germs, we are finally here. The last week of the regular season. And boy, oh boy, it has been a long time coming. I was really excited to start this. I, I've been playing for quite a while. And it's cool to finally be able to put this out and just have people you know, here watching it with me, closing in on 100 subscribers has been very unreal. I did not expect for this channel to grow as fast as it has. And I appreciate everyone that watches the videos, no matter how long or short you stick around, even if you just swing in for a minute. Like, I really do appreciate it. I would be playing the game regardless, just enjoying myself. And uh, I'm glad you guys can be here. But enough of that. Week 18 is here and we are going to be playing Jacksonville. We'll take a quick look at the team real quick as Olave has been injured our whole defense is healthy however and all of our weapons are healthy too ellis is going to be starting in his third game take a look at his stats real quick through two games um terrible completion percentage a uh, couple touchdowns couple picks nothing great and nothing on the uh, on the ground either but his morale is toxic and as much as i would love to have a meeting with him spend the morale or spend the uh, coaching credits i mean to boost his morale he's gonna play better with the toxic uh toxic morale if we look at the stamina buff uh, you receive that when you're toxic and the arm strength is when you're angry or toxic so i'm gonna keep him like that and hopefully he uses that anger to play to his best abilities we're going to hop into duval we'll have them do a regular jerseys and regular jerseys for us as well and we are underway. Houston kicking off to Jacksonville as Alfred is too slow. Over the middle, Jacksonville running. Alfred too slow again in the red zone. They run the ball. Coney makes a great tackle and they are held to a field goal. Why do I have kickoffs? I don't remember doing that. I did not mean to do that. This will be the only game this ever happens. I'm not going to quit the game, um, but I don't mean to have that as right off the rip john smith streaking down the field getting blown up uh taking it to the 36 yard line i'm liking the coverage they're giving us oh except i want to do throw it to herd but it looks like quincy mullins is going to catch it instead and he's going to make a break for it past midfield that linebacker's dropping over diamond i ah, just again these dots i've got to get used to it as uh you know quarterback has been injured and we've got to make plays with ellis Third and nine. I'm looking deep to Freddie Hurd. I'm throwing a risky ball, and he makes a great catch. That was a tough ball, and Ellis put it where it needed to be. And I'm noticing this one-on-one -on -one coverage right off the beginning as EJ Diamond makes a big catch, taking it to the five-yard line. Third down. Kicking it to the running back. Find the outside. He gets stuffed. Fourth down. I'm going for it early. I like Diamond, except those linebackers. I'm taking the points. And we doinked it. We got it. Took the points. Just felt like we can't afford to not get it. Alfred too slow. Defense has been making plays. They are going to break. They bent and they broke. And we are going to get a chance to tie the game up before the end of the half. Sam White is going to return that one. As uh, Quincy Mullen is going to get a stiff arm and take it to the 30. I'm looking Freddie Hurd's way. He's got some space. Over the top, he makes that catch. Way to hold on. Second and 10, they're playing really close. I'm just gonna put a little bit of underneath it and just get the ball to Diamond's hands and he'll do the rest. 39 seconds left. I'm gonna try to catch them off guard with a run play, get to the edge. Ugh, can't do it. I hate when it happens when you can't do it because now you're wasting time. I'm dropping back. 
trying to wiggle that ball over the middle and Diamond makes a great catch. Not going to call a timeout. I really want to, but I'm not going to. 21 seconds. I'm calling an audible. Diamond on the post route. Probably going to pick up every defender on the way, but he's going to end up getting open and he's going to get down to the eight and I'm calling a timeout. Can't have anything that is not a touchdown as I, oh my God, sailed it. I'm going to keep this play. I like Hurd if those linebackers come down. I think, oh, I just, somebody please. Oh my God, Freddie Hurd. Freddie Hurd made the catch after all. I should have threw it a little bit earlier. Hurd comes back, makes the acrobatic great effort. And we're going to tie this game up in Jacksonville. Cornerbacks playing off diamond. I don't know how much arm strength. Oh my God. I was going to say, I don't know how much arm strength uh, Ellis has, but it looks like it, if we're going to try to make those deep balls, we're going to have to do them early. Third and seven. And they are not covering the tight end as I'm trying to get it to him. Look at that. John Smith, the most reliable tight end in the league. You can always count on him on third down. As I'm trying to make that great pass over the middle. EJ Diamond moving the chains. 10-10 ball game. Quincy Mullen going to try to get the edge as he's going to get a gain of five. Take it past the 35. As a quick little hitch route. And that's a bad pass. That's a bad pass. I think I'm going to have to take the field goal. I don't know if we've got the leg for it. I'm hoping we do. Please. Oh, my God. Bob Jones with the kick as Houston kicking back off to Jacksonville. Can this defense hold up? They can't. So we got another, another chance to take the lead. This has been a yo-yo game back and forth, back and forth. Safety's playing up. you got to beat your man. i got to throw it early. Come on, Diamond, please. Make that catch. I would love to take up a little bit more time as I'm not looking to fumble the ball. As much as I want to run the clock down with the run game, I'm not going to do it at the expense of fumbling the ball. And we have, I was going to say we have a decision to make whether we're going to punt or go for it, but they're not going to give us the choice. We're going to have to go for it. Cannot make that field goal. I don't really know. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know where I'm looking exactly. Fuck! I took a sack! Cannot afford to take a sack. Come on. Jacksonville driving and they score a touchdown. Oh my god. We are going to lose this game. Thank god it's not the playoffs. It looks like we cannot complete the sweep. Ellis, I, I, held in my, uh, I held in the pocket for too long. Nothing was progressing down the field. Couldn't get anything. Maybe just get a little bit more rhythm for the offense. Freddie Hurd, fuck me. I mean, it's just not. Okay, don't. No, please, please, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want this. Oh. Game over. 31-13 to as we won the division but lost a lot of fans in the process. Finishing it off 13-4. and Jason Alford played poor. Yep, they all played poor. Fuck the coaches. Not great stats from anyone. Diamond was okay. Um, probably the only thing I can really say. As Coney, he's going to get an upgrade. Upgrade his strength. Looking at the playoff picture here through the end of the season, we did secure the first round bye. AFC is looking like Buffalo against Jacksonville. The Chargers versus the Raiders as a, an AFC West matchup, and Baltimore Cincy for an AFC North matchup. And then the NFC we've got Green Bay and the Rams, Philly and the Saints, Minnesota and the 49ers, with Tampa Bay getting the first round bye. They went 13-4, and four, as well as Green Bay and Philly. Looks like the NFC is a lot more top-heavy um, than our conference. So I should say a lot more depth at the top. Lots of terrible teams, like in the NFC North, the NFC West. I mean, everyone's got kind of the bottom dwellers. I mean, the NFC South is very similar to our division. I think it's literally within a game of being the same um, stats-wise for for the teams and i will see you for the playoffs where we have the first round by we will cover all of the scores and standings in the next one take it easy guys